एग्जाम्पल नंबर थ्री पॉइंट वन जीरो पेज नंबर एट्टी टू टेकन फ्रॉम द बुक इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन्स रिटन बाई डी पी कोठारी इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एक्साइटिंग करेंट इन पर यूनिट ऑन एल वी साइड एज वेल एज ऑन एच वी साइड एंड वी हैव टू एक्सप्रेस द इक्वेलेंट इम्पिडेंस इन पर यूनिट ऑन एल वी साइड एज वेल एज ऑन एच वी साइड the equivalent impedance refer to hv side is given and the exciting current measured on lv side is given the rating of the transformer is given the power rating is 20 kva and the voltage rating is 2000 by 200 volt so the informations which are given to me is suppose this is transformer lv side and hv side the voltage rating is 200 upon 2000 volt the power rating of lv side and hv side is 20 kva the equivalent impedance on hv side is 8.2 plus j 10.2 ohms the exciting current is 3 ampere on lv side and what we have to calculate the exciting current in per unit on lv side the exciting current on per unit the exciting the per unit value of the exciting current on hv side the equivalent impedance in per unit on hv side and also we have to calculate the equivalent impedance in per unit on lv side these are the things which we have to calculate you know the definition of the per unit the per unit value equals to actual value divided by the base value this definition is known to everyone so based on this definition we have to solve the problem i am going to make a chart this is lv side of the transformer this one is the hv side of the transformer the power rating in kva on lv side is 20 kva the power rating is always same on lv side and on its on hv side the power rating is same the power rating i am writing it as as b the voltage rating the rated values are taken as base values it is given in the problem in this problem it is given that choose the transformer rating as the base so the base voltage on lv side is 200 volt and the base voltage on hv side is 2000 volt can you tell me the base current on lv side you know that the power rating equals to v into i sp equals to vb into ib to calculate the base current you have to do sb upon vb the power rating divided by the base uh, voltage base power divided by the base voltage so for calculating the base current on lv side take the base power of lv side and take the base voltage of lv side so 20k upon 200 it will be 100 ampere in the same way you can calculate the base current of hv side 
सो बेस पावर ट्वेंटी के डिवाइड बाई टू टू थाउजेंड इट विल बी टेन एम पी एर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द बेस एम इम्पिडेंस द बेस इम्पिडेंस द बेस इम्पिडेंस इक्वल्स टू द बेस वोल्टेज स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाई द पावर रेटिंग बेस वोल्टेज स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाई द बेस पावर सो यूज दिस फॉर्मूला द बेस वोल्टेज इज टू हंड्रेड सो टू हंड्रेड स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी के डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी के यू विल गेट द बेस इम्पिडेंस ऑफ एल वी साइड एज टू ओम द बेस इम्पिडेंस ऑफ एच वी साइड इक्वल्स टू द बेस वोल्टेज स्क्वायर दैट इज टू थाउजेंड स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाई द बेस पावर दैट इज ट्वेंटी के एंड यू विल गेट टू हंड्रेड ओम्स the exciting current on lv side the actual value of the exciting current on lv side is 3 ampere so can you tell me the exciting current refer to hv side the exciting current refer to hv side equals to exciting current refer to lv side divided by the transformation ratio transformation ratio equals to the hv winding voltage divided by the lv winding voltage so it will be 10 so 3 upon 10 equals to 0.3 ampere the exciting current in per unit on lv side equals to according to the definition of the per unit system i have given you the definition the definition is the per unit value equals to actual value divided by the base value so what is the actual value of the exciting current on lv side 3 ampere this is the actual value what is the base value of the current on lv side 100 ampere so it will be 0.03 per unit the exciting current the per unit value of the exciting current on hv side equals to actual value of the current on hv side divided by the base value of the current on hv side that is 10 ampere so it will be 0.03 per unit so you can clearly see that in the case of the transformer the current in per unit system will remain same if you are using the per unit system this is the benefit of using the per unit system if you take the actual value the current on lv side the current referred to lv side and the current referred to hv side will be different but in the case of the per unit system the current in per unit system refer to lv side and refer to hv side will be same this is the benefit of using per unit values okay now we have to calculate the equivalent impedance in per unit refer to lv side and refer to hv side so we know the definition of the per unit per unit value equals to actual value divided by the base value what is the actual value of the equivalent impedance on lv side the equivalent impedance of the transformer referred to hv side is given to us so we can calculate the equivalent impedance of the transformer referred to lv side so how to calculate it equivalent value equivalent impedance of the transformer on hv side divided by the square of the transformation ratio we have calculated here 
the transformation ratio. The transformation ratio is 10. So Z equivalent on HV side divided by 10 square equals to Z equivalent on HV side divided by 100. So we can write the Z equivalent on LV side. The actual value of the impedance referred to LV side equals to this value divided by 100. So it will be point zero eight two plus point one zero two so this is the actual value of the equivalent impedance referred to LV side so actual value divided by the base value what is the actual value point 082 plus J 0 0.102 divided by 2 actual value divided by the base value the actual value of the equivalent impedance referred to LV side divided by the base value of the impedance on LV side to calculate the equivalent impedance in per unit referred to HV side you have to take the actual value of the equivalent impedance referred to HV side which is given in the problem 8.2 plus J 10.2 divide by the base impedance the base impedance is 200 so if you calculate it if you calculate this value, you will get 0 0.041 plus J 0 0.051 and if you calculate this, again you will get the same thing 0 0.041 plus J 0 0.051 in per unit. This is also in per unit. So in this way we have solved this problem you can match the answers the exciting current the exciting current in per unit on LV side and on LV uh, on uh, let me repeat it again the exciting current in per unit on LV side as well as on HV side the answers are on LV side it is 0 0.03 and on HV side it is 0 0.03 I have calculated it the exciting current in per unit on LV side and on HV side this is the per unit value of the exciting current on HV side and this is the per unit value of the exciting current on LV side so both are same it is also given in the book now see the per unit value of the impedance on HV side is 0 0.041 plus J 0 0.051 and the per unit value of the impedance on LV side is 0 0.041 plus J 0 0.051 and the same thing I have got here. The equivalent impedance on per unit system referred to LV side or referred to HV side on any side the values will be same this is the benefit of using the per unit system in the per unit system the impedance referred to LV side and the impedance referred to HV side will be same and also the exciting current in per unit system referred to LV side and referred to HV side will be same. This is the benefit of the using uh, per unit system. So we have discussed the example number 3.10 taken from the book Electrical Machines written by D.P. Kothari and I.J. Nagrath.